Okay, welcome to the barn, San Diego. We are gonna show you what we're doing with our small micro farm out here with cut flowers and we are making the arches. So we are gonna show you today how we made all these arches for the vegetable garden. All right, so today we wanna show you how we are building the arches built these yesterday really easy to do four t-post one cattle guard from tractor supply this is where the climbing rose is but we're going to build a vegetable path over here today so we rototill put the compost down put the fertilizer down so we already have that done before we install this is a great little trick Start them flat on the ground. They're 16 feet long, a little four and a half feet wide. And if you start them on the ground, you can put your tie downs on it to hold them in place, get your measurements. So we've done it at five feet exactly to hold it in spot. And as you can see, slam them in. It's hard. So you can sample what it looks like when it's down. Just grab one end, put the tie down on it, grab the other end measure it out to five feet. It gives you a good height underneath it. And you can just let it sit there. Easy to pick up even by one person while you are slamming your post in. So we're gonna get some string line, put it on the front post so that we can ensure that all of our posts are gonna line up. David's nemesis in the yard. And this is how you do string lines. Pull 
simple but effective to make sure. Pretty close. All right. Start with just the screwdriver, and then if you have a pair of lineman pliers or something, just pull on the end. Basically, wrap it around. So what people don't know is these come with your T-posts. You have to ask for the clips. No one knows how to use them, so they'll give you like four bags with your 20 posts. I think you're making five. There we go. Now it's nice and secure and nothing to really grab you. If you don't have these, you can use zip ties, which is what a lot of people do. Or baling wire. Baling wire. We have 50 mile an hour winds, so we are going to use the clips to make sure things stay where they belong. Some of these are more complicated than others. <laughs> For whatever reason. Usually, user error. squeeze them in. Voila. downs off at this point otherwise it will make your distance incorrect and you'll just be fighting and if you watch he takes the open side puts it on first the screwdriver through the bottom of the hook Bend it around. Bump it down. Secure this like that. Simple as that. So we didn't have those. When we put the sweep T-post in. So just as simple, get some zip ties. But honestly, for the metal, if you're doing something like this, zip ties work great. But for the metal, you're gonna want the clips. This is Cattle Guard. 
really strong. If you don't have the clips, again, use wire, wrap it around it. But you can see how secure it is. And then these little roses, I'm gonna climb over this one and give us an archway. This will get all of the mulch and bark, weeds green, but had to get the plant started. Post and netting. These are the snappies. They're not so happy. They just got watered, but uh, they're trying to spark back up. Cool nights, hot days. They're not really sure what to do with themselves. You can use the same T post, attach them to your box, put the netting for the snappies to grow. Obviously, they don't need a lot of strength. They do not need cattle guard. Like the vegetable garden. What you can see on the beds is we had eight foot wide beds. So we use the same 16 foot piece, but we raised them up. Two reasons. We wanted the height under the arch, so we raised it to the top of the beds. And the roses will grow. And we have the covers on the beds. So these are our low hoop houses that we built out of PVC and thick plastic. We have a bracket down here. I'm coming closer, you'll be able to see. So we twist, twist at the same time on either side, go down, put it through the bracket, screw it on, fold it back over, put your zip ties on, and you now have an adjustable bed you can raise up and down. So tomorrow we're getting an inch of rain, so we'll put them back down so we don't drown the seeds. But today it's 90, so we're gonna open it back up. Got the seeds growing. And you can see we have the ranunculus that do not like to get scorched and it has been hot and the snapdragons. So they want they definitely want air. So open them up during the day, put them back down at night. the finished product we're gonna add one more I'll show you where but tomatoes will take over this entire arch some bell peppers some jalapeno peppers on this side will blend in nicely with the zucchini they overtake everything but at least we'll have a pop of red to be able to find them we'll add another arch right here And we'll have cucumbers mixed in with the climbing green beans. Let me show you what it looks like in about a month. 